So two criminals went to trial yesterday, two incredibly sinister criminals, and their crime? Rescuing sick animals from a horrible factory farm. So obviously I don't think they're criminals. I think these two activists are on the right side of history and they did what was morally right. But because law has not caught up to morals yet, what they did was considered a crime. The two activists are Wayne Shung and Paul Darwin. Now, they could face a prison sentence of up to 10 years. What did they do to be facing 10 years prison? They took two $40 pigs out of a disgusting facility owned by Smithfield Foods. Now, Smithfield isn't without controversy. They've been exposed many times. One of the biggest animal abusers in America. They have 50,000 employees and an annual reported revenue of $14 billion. Why are they so concerned with Wayne and Paul rescuing two $40 pigs? Seems like they're more concerned about something else. Maybe it's the fact that they didn't just rescue two $40 pigs who are not just worth $40 in my eyes. They are individuals, subjects of a life, morally valuable beings who deserve rights. They didn't just rescue these two individuals. They exposed the horrific cruelty on Smithfield's farm. Let's just have a little look here. This is where Lily and Lizzie were rescued from. There's Wayne. There's Wayne, and let's put up the volume a little. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. There's a dead. There's a dead piglet here. There. Look at that hellhole. Look at this. This is where Lily and Lizzie were rescued from. There's feces and dead piglets behind this mother who is trapped in a cage and cannot move. That looks like something out of hell. That is disgusting. So, my good friends at Plant Based News have done a little story on this. Let's have a little read for some insight. So they started their trial yesterday. The piglets named Lily and Lizzie are alive and well today. Supporters of the activists are campaigning for the right to rescue animals who are in distress. Think about it. There's a dog in a car on a hot summer's day. If you smash the window and you rescue the dog, you are a hero. Wayne and Paul go into a factory farm to rescue Lily and Lizzie. They are considered criminals and are facing 10 years in prison. This is a backward society. They found what we always find in these places, which is uh, pregnant pigs can't turn around. So these are gestation crates. They found uh, dead, dying, diseased piglets. Uh, filmed, you know, they filmed blood and feces. Everything that you see inside of a farrowing shed, inside of a factory farm. I've been in plenty, and they're here in the UK. They're in Australia. Where are you? In Europe? They're there too. The factory farms are the same all over the world. This is the, this is crazy. Sean claims that the FBI, dozens of agents and attorneys have been trying to prosecute the case for years. The FBI was sent to raid sanctuaries in search of Lily and Lizzie after they were rescued. Wow. What a joke. I bet you those FBI agents were just thinking, what are we doing? Why do we have to do this? This is absolutely stupid. If they weren't thinking that, then, mate, you're absolute clowns. Because the FBI should be there to protect the people from terrorism, from pedophiles, child abusers, from rapists and murderers, from people who are planning to do some horrible attack on human beings and animals. But no, they were sent there to raid sanctuaries. They wasted their time, taxpayers' money, to go and look for two piglets that are worth forty-two twenty. Thanks, Smithfield. You absolute leech on the earth and the animals. You are leeching taxpayers' money money to go search for two piglets. You absolute joke. That is sickening. I can't believe that. Actually, I can believe it, but pff, mate, I, I mean, those FBI agents must be like pretty embarrassed about that. I would be, I would feel embarrassed and ashamed that I went to look for two $40 piglets. What a, I would, I'd be like, this is a joke. Um, I, I don't want to do it. Reprimand me. I'm not going to go. I'm an FBI agent. I come, I, I became an FBI agent to protect and serve and to help uh, protect the community. I didn't come, become an FBI agent to go and harass sanctuaries who are rescuing little piglets that are worth $40 from some ma massive multinational conglomerate 
animal abusing organization who are turning over 14 billion a year and they're wasting my time when I could be out protecting children from child abusers, right? But you got me out here searching for piglets in a sanctuary. What a joke. It has been claimed the video the activist filmed on the farm has been barred from court. So they're going to trial and they're not even allowed to show the video of the horrible hellhole farm that these two babies were rescued from. The judge at this trial has even ordered that they have an anonymous jury. They usually only do this for like mobsters or like dangerous people on trial so that the jury cannot be intimidated. So they're treating these activists like dangerous violent criminals when they are a non-violent organization. Is it really because they're worried about the jury's safety? Or maybe it's because they don't want someone to get in touch with the jury and show them images from Smithfield's farms. And why is that? Because they know it would persuade the jury. Because the jury are made up of human beings with a heart. And when they see what Paul and Wayne rescued these babies from, they'd actually go, oh my God, that's pretty horrible. Yeah, but it is justified that they rescued them. They don't want to influence the jury. Now, extrapolate this out to the, the population. Smithfield don't want the footage getting out to the population because guess what, what are the population to Smithfield? They're consumers, they are customers. They don't want their customers seeing the disgusting, filthy, poo-ridden, bloody death facility that they get their bacon from, do they? Smithfield wanna keep propagating this crap that's on their website. Look at this, look at their website. Wow, look at all the smiling faces. You know, good food, responsibility. Good is what we do at Smithfield Farm. <laughs> wow, good is what we do. Wow, wow. This is like, um, what is that, Hitler line? Hitler's propagandist, Nazi Joseph Goebbels. Repeat a lie often enough and it becomes the truth. The law of propaganda. At Smithfield Foods, we make more than good food. We make a difference. We provide jobs. We are good stew stewards of the environment. We do good in our communities. Good describes everything we do at Smithfield, and it's an integral part of who we are. What absolute scumbag propagandists. You do so much good, don't you, Smithfield? So good that you feed these people here a class one carcinogen, which bacon is, or a class 2A carcinogen, which pork products are. Wow, and you're doing such, you're such good stewards of the environment. Smithfield, that you just grow a bunch of soy to feed to pigs in your torture facilities where you create energy nodes of suffering all across the US and all across the earth and uh, horrible gas chambers that murder these pigs. Wow, you're doing so much good, Smithfield. You're doing about as much good as Satan himself. All I can say is that Joseph Goebbels would be so proud of your propaganda campaign. Animal care. <laughs> God, you know what? I could have a field day just on their website alone. Look at these, look at this propaganda. Look at these happy piglets, mate. What where did you get this? Did you did you get the FBI to take these photos of these happy piglets to put on your website when they were raiding sanctuaries in your name? You sickos, so that you could go scoop up those two forty dollar piglets to chuck them in the gas chambers, get their throat slashed? Good is what we do. Oh my God! Should we watch the Smithfield advertisement? You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Let's go. We make more than good food. We make a difference. Working for Smithfield here in hog production, those pigs rely on us for everything. And if we're not doing what we're doing, then they're suffering, and that's not acceptable. <laughs> it's not acceptable to have pig, pig suffering. That's why I got into factory farming. You know, like, because I was so concerned with suffering pigs, I decided to work for Smithfield, the biggest animal abusers on earth. Okay, here we go. How much they pay you for this one? thing that I feel like Smithfield's very transparent about is how we care for our animals. <laughs> the one thing Smithfield is so transparent about is how much we care for our animals. No, that's called propaganda. You're transparent about your propaganda campaigns. It's not even, they're not transparent. It's just, yeah, we care for our animals. We do good. That's not transparency. That's you pushing out the message and repeating a lie so that people believe it. But the truth is what happens when people walk into your farms when no one's prepared. 
then when the floors haven't been scrubbed, when all the dead haven't been put in a bin and put in an incinerator and the evidence haven't, hasn't been hidden, okay? Now, transparency is what DXE are asking for. Transparency is what animal activists are asking for. So what is transparency in Smithfield's eyes? Transparency in Smithfield's eyes is not letting the jury see the images from the farm in the upcoming trial for two $40 piglets that were stolen. You can tell, you know, how they're being treated. Usually when I go to a farm, I'm gonna jump in every pen to make sure that animals have feed available, that the water is working, look at the fans. We wanna make sure that animals feel comfortable. And if you don't feed the pigs, what happens? Uh, you don't have bacon, you don't have money. You're feeding the pigs, giving them food and water, and you're acting like, you just what do you deserve a medal for that? Um, you're only feeding them and looking after them because they're a product and they have to produce money for the company. That's all they're there for. They are enslaved and are going to be gas chambered and murdered. Like good is what we do. All it is is humane washing. Who is their propagandist? Quite impressive, actually. Quite impressive. Like wow, good is what we do. It is enraging me. These, these propagandists are absolute scum of the earth. Shung said in a recent interview, one in four people are employed by Smithfield in the area. Since they filmed footage on the farm, some Smithfield locations have been closed down due to breaches of regulations. Closed down due to breaches of regulations? I thought Smithfield are responsible when they do good. Shung, who has been an animal cruelty investigator for most of his adult life, said the findings in the farm shocked even him. Just let this sink in a little. All these activists from DXE did was take some animals to the vet who needed care. And that was in 2017. Five years later, they're going to trial. So please support Wayne and Paul and DXC during this trial. You can go follow them on Instagram. Uh, you can uh, check out their website and you can help support their campaign for the right to rescue. I hope everything goes well and they don't actually get prison time. I hope the jurors see through what this massive animal abusing company is trying to do. It's very clear this company does not care about the $80 worth of piglets. They don't care about the trespass or the theft of the piglets. They care that these activists went in there and exposed what they were really doing. They don't want the public to see what they're up to. They don't want you, as a customer of theirs, to see what they're really up to. This is all about keeping their propaganda afloat. This is all about tricking people into thinking that they care about animals when really they are just massive animal killers making money off the misery, suffering and death of these beings. Who's the real criminals? Who are the real terrorists? Is it the activists who rescued some pigs and took them to the vet? Or is it the massive multinational meat producer who do nothing but breed animals into hell and cut their heads off? I'll let you decide on that one. If you are a customer of animal agriculture, you are giving them money to create the supply chain that abuses and kills animals. Please choose vegan products, support a plant-based supply chain, boycott your support for meat, dairy, and eggs, because these monsters cannot operate without your support. Thank you to the activists involved with this, and I'll see you all in the next video.